So we've managed to get outside at IBC to the Beyond HD stand. Yep. Stand, I don't know, car park. Yes, um, yes. It's um, the, the most expensive car Keith park. Keith Harding, uh, you're here representing uh, Beyond HD and also Lettuce. Yep, absolutely. What on earth is that? So, uh, our friends at Lettuce have very kindly uh, a, a agreed that uh, we needed something a bit bigger. The, the original Helix, just being able to take Reds and, uh, and Aries and those sort of things, it just wasn't cutting the mustard. So uh, we've, uh, first time ever, we've now got uh, here uh, to show you the double helix. So the double helix is literally uh, twice, Toot, as twice the helix. Absolutely. And just for a bit of fun, uh, although there are people already expressing interest in the fact that we've got it, uh, we've got the Arri 235 film camera on there. Let's, let's, uh, let's have a look and see have what we've got. It's, uh, Riz, so it, <laughs> it works. It does. It really works. So we've got all the same level of uh, movement that we had with the smaller cameras on there. We can go down low. The control of the tilt is still on the handle just as it was before. High angle shots, the whole thing. Do a bit of a, a dance round for us, Riz. Look at that, beautiful. What an amazing bit of kit. Well, the great thing is, you know, that nobody asks us whether their Arri or their Red will fit on here anymore. Everyone looks at that camera and just knows it'll fit. So you're going to get Black Magic Ursa? Can you actually get uh, one? We on can, there? absolutely. No problem at all. And uh, in, in, in terms of other sort of cameras, obviously the full F F55 packages the big lenses, zoom lenses, uh, Alexa, uh, Alexa Plus, yep. and uh, in uh, something we're working on uh, at the moment is things like the Arri uh, A65, their big okay. film rental camera. And then, in terms of uh, the back, the exoskeleton, I mean, it's something we've seen before, but in case people don't know, what, what, what's going on there? Well, to be honest with you, we've got something very nice for you here, in so much as uh, this is the Mark II exoskeleton. So uh, this is the, the new version of the it. The company's called um, ex Exhaust. Right. Uh, we call it the Exo for short. Uh, and basically, you can see with a camera of this size, I think most operators, whatever gimbal they're using, know that you can only have a limited amount of time where you're using it. Yeah, unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're, 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 you're going to be... Total fatigue. And of course, with these sort of cameras where you're looking at 25 to 30 kilos, it's just a total non-starter. But as you can see with that, Riz is just holding it in position, no stress, all the weights down to his... Have a look, Riz. Uh, just have a look. Uh, just Come on in here, Riz. Let's, uh, let, let's see how... Uh, little, so you could actually use it as a... I mean, uh, we joke about it. You could actually use that to shoot off the sh off the shoulder, inverted uh, commas. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, you know, we've got uh, DOPs now that have realised the strength of it. They've turned the motors off for the gyro stabilised stuff where they want to get that real sort of edgy handheld look. And they just actually hold the camera and do that because doing the handheld stuff with a 25 kilo camera isn't much fun. But to be able to turn those uh, motors off, get the edgy stuff, the fight sequences and the real moves, and be able to do it for extended periods of time is fantastic. Okay, one more question, slightly, sure. slightly off topic though. Um, you mentioned DOPs. Are you finding it is the DOPs themselves who are now shooting with this stuff, or is it still operators, so to speak? I mean, well, who's doing this? To be quite frank with you, one of the things that the DOPs seem to like on this is there is no need for second operator on this. Uh, because you've got the tilt on, on the actual handle, the pan is obvious, you've always got control of that, but because we've got the tilt, what we're fe what the feedback we're getting uh, from the DOPs is that they like this because they're back in control of it again. Yeah. They don't feel like they're- If you're that kind of DOP, <laughs> then you <laughs> sort of sort of yeah. Just saying. Yeah, exactly. But they don't feel like they're a glorified grip. Yeah, yeah. Running around with a camera that someone else is controlling with a joystick. So they really like the idea of, uh, of, of having that total control. And, I mean, of, of the times that this goes out, or I mean, so far, has it mostly been DOPs doing that way, or is it mostly operators? That... No, pretty much all DOPs. Interesting. Yeah, yeah Interesting. absolutely. Yeah. Interesting times if you're an operator too. Uh, well, I guess <laughs> but, so, yeah, in, um, indeed. And I, I think, you know, it's, it's I mean, we, 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 we're fairly open to the whole fact. We see this because we can have, on the Helix, we can have the single axis. We're finding that there's a lot of applications for it on a traditional Steadicam sled. So they put it on there, they have the stabilisation and everything they need, they can still do those special shots that they do with the Steadicam. So there's still some differences between what you can get with a Steadicam and what yeah. you can get with a handheld stabilised shot. It looks different. So we like to think that there's a market for both of them. We like to think that the, the double helix fits, fits both of the markets very well. So we're not, uh, we're not suggesting the doom of, uh, of Steadicam by any means with this system. Okay, Keith, last qu very last question. Okay. How, mu how much is this and when can people get it if they've got deep pockets? Okay, so the double helix is going to be around 
about twenty-five thousand uh, pounds for the three-axis uh, version and the uh, without the exhaust. Just yeah. The so the exoskeletons are a further four thousand pounds, give or take, uh, on that, which is the new Mark Two one. So we'll we'll show you a little bit more of that when we uh, have a look at the. Uh, in and, and available when? So they're both available now. Uh, so we're, we're we're taking orders on them. We're about four weeks away from uh, our first stock delivery of the uh, the double helix, and the exoskeleton is just shipping. Great, Keith. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.